front end. So the next thing I wanted to do was look at the home content. Uh, the home page content here is defined by another topic called home top intro. So let's take a look at that and add our own home page content. So this is home top intro. So most of the time when you're working on a topic like this one, uh, it's a bit more complex and there's a good chance you'll, you'll mess up the HTML some way while you're working on it and you might want to get back to what you've got. So I always recommend uh, copying your HTML and then pasting it into a text file and saving it like so. I'll just save that to my desktop. And then I've actually got some other content that I typed out ahead of time so we didn't have to watch me type uh, that I'd like to replace it with. So I'm going to delete this and paste some basic HTML in there. And we'll take a look at that in design view. You can see it's just a header and some filler text and a couple paragraphs. So I'm going to hit the update topic button and let's take a look at the front end of the website. Voila. Okay, so what I need to do here is maybe add some pictures. I think I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to add a featured products section down below here, just static featured products. And then I've got uh, this contact us text, but it'd be a little better if that actually linked to the contact page. So I'm going to go ahead and add a hyperlink there and add a featured products section underneath, just so you can kind of see how to use the design side of the WYSIWYG editor. Okay, so first let's add this link. I'm, I want all of this text here to link, so I'm just going to select Contact Us. And then you can click on the Hyperlink Manager, and that'll load up. And you could type a, what's called an absolute URL to anywhere on the internet, but um, I don't need to do that. I just want to link to another page on the site, so it's best to use a relative URL without the HTTP and the link I'm going for is to a topics page so I start it with T dash and the name of the topic page I'm linking to is contact and then the dot ASPX extension so that's all I need and I'm going to just hit OK and you can see it it builds the hyperlink for me so the next thing I'd like to do is add a featured products section. And when you're editing, uh, you can change the type of HTML element that you're writing into by changing this drop down up here. So I'd recommend that. I'm going to go ahead and go to a heading two. So that's almost the largest text. This text up here is a H1 or heading one. And I'm going for a heading two because I want it to be a little bit smaller. All right, so we'll just type that in there. And then after that, I want to add, we'll switch it back to normal, which is a paragraph. I'm going to add some product images. So here we'll get a chance to look at how the image manager works. Just click on the image manager link up there. And the first thing I want to do is upload the image I'm looking for. So back here on the Browse tab, these are all the images that are currently up on your website that are available. And if you want to add a new one to the website, you can actually use this Upload tab to bring new ones up. So let's browse for an image. And I'm going to add my t-shirt. And I want to overwrite if it's got the same name, so I'll check that and go ahead and upload that image. And there it is. I'm going to insert that into my topic. Cool. So let's do that a couple more times. I'm going to add two more product images to the site. And I want to overwrite it. I'll put that in there. 
and one more. Okay, so now what I want to do is add a little bit of space between these images because they're a little close together. And one way to do that is with horizontal spacing. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm going to save this topic and let's take a look at our home page. Excellent. Okay. Very cool. So that's the basics of editing topics. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple links here to my new featured products and then we'll be done. So I need to find out where this product is on the site. So I'm going to go out to the website and find that product. And I'm just going to copy the URL from P for product all the way through ASPX and then click on the image. I'm going to go ahead and add a hyperlink to it with the hyperlink manager and just select the URL there and paste your URL in. So that'll add a link to that product. And the same is true for our other products. Copy that. And let's add a link. Hyperlink Manager, and there we go. Go ahead and update and refresh the home page. Perfect. So now each of these products should link to their product page. Just like that. So that's editing topics in ASP.NET Storefront.